name's Stephen Johnson from Stephen Johnson Photography and today we've got another of the TRG bio interviews with our members and today in the studio I've got Jake. I'll leave it up to him to tell you what he does. Um, so Jake, please state for the record your name, your company's name and what it is that you do. So my name's Jake Gowan and I'm the director of JCG Electrical Services and we are domestic and commercial electricians. Perfect and how long have you been in business Jake? So I've been an electrician, I qualified 16 years ago, just over 16 years ago, but my business has been running for seven to eight years now. And what got you into the business in the first place, Jake? Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I left school. Um, all I did know is I didn't really fancy working in an office. I'm not, quite, I'm not great with routine going to the same place, so I like going to different places, doing different things, so I was always going to be a tradesman. And then it was, uh, I was informed when I was 16 years old that electricians earned the most money out of the trades. <laughs> I found that not to be true, but... Gas service engineers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. We can't all be heating engineers. That's it. And what do you feel is your USP, Jake? I'd say our USP, or one of them, is garden lighting. So we have uh, very good relationships with leading lighting manufacturers within the UK. So we design and install garden lighting systems and... Um, I always run our designs by the lighting manufacturers to make sure that the products we're installing to light something, say a tree for instance, or a certain plant, that we're putting in the best product to give the best effect. Perfect, perfect. Um, how long have you been a member of TRG and how has it worked for you so far? So I've been a member, I think I joined in August last year, so not a great deal of time. But last year being 2023. Yes. People yeah, may yeah, be yeah, watching yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the future. Yeah, sorry, 2023, summertime 2023 yeah. I joined. And it's been really good. Um, I get a lot of referrals. There's a few members that pass me lots of referrals. Other members pass me some, but um, it's been really good. And I like the fact that it's um, all the members seem to have a good laugh of each other as well. So it's a relaxed environment that is also serious and passes a lot of business. So. Absolutely. And if there is such a thing, what is your perfect customer, Jake? Um, I don't think there is such a thing. Although I would say a customer that pays their invoices on time. You They're always. always appreciated. But we work for a wide variety of people. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't really make any difference. If I could pick, I would say garden designers mm -hmm. as well because we enjoy doing the garden lighting. Yeah. So they would be our ideal client that we... We want more garden designers to work with if we can. Sure. I think you've already answered this a couple of times. Yep. Um, your business obviously covers a broad range of services, but what is personally your favourite kind of work and why? Yeah, so like as you say, we have covered this garden lighting. We also um, particularly enjoy doing commercial works. So we're happy to do those out of hours so we don't disrupt office staff and things like that. So schools, offices, warehouses, upgrading the lighting, maintaining the electrical installation. You're doing quite a lot of work at Red Hill Aerodrome at the moment, is that right? Biggin Hill. Biggin Hill. Sorry. Biggin Hill Airport, yeah. yeah. So we've we've been working on and off there for a number of years now, upgrading lighting and doing other things as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should be doing some more work there pretty soon as well, yeah. Sure. When you say upgrading lighting, you talk about converting to LED, that kind yes, of low power exactly stuff. exactly that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's still a lot of places, believe it or not, where they've got old halogen fittings or... Um, yeah, old style lighting, yeah, and um, basically not LED. So we go and take the old fittings down, put LED versions in, which then over over um, normally about three years, the energy saving costs for those businesses are paid back, like sure. the initial cost. Yeah. So um, yeah, we enjoy doing that. It's something different, but our, our our main bread and butter work, if you like, is domestic. Sure. Sure. Uh, now, a little bit of personal stuff, if we may, please, Jake. Yep. Um, what is your personal status, family status? Are you married, still happy, kids, pets, etc.? Married, I'm happy. She's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've got two children, yeah, my daughter Ella, who is 10, and my son Charlie, who's six. Uh, no pets, I'm actually allergic to cats and dogs. Oh, God. So. <laughs> so I've got a cat in the house, so he doesn't come in here, so we're all right. Um, tell me something about yourself that most people wouldn't know. I never know how to answer this. I've had to answer this a few times in, in various networking events. Um, the only thing I think of that comes to mind is I'm petrified of flying. I hate flying. Right. As some of the TRG members will know, when one of my friends kindly posted a video of me on a rough flight back from Ibiza, and I wasn't feeling too good. Oh, I didn't know that. I've got to find that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, flying. I, I don't let the fact that I'm scared of flying put me off flying. 
I'll just put up with it. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's it's not your not your favourite thing. No, I can't I hate it. Cool, cool. <laughs> um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I don't really get much spare time, but I like going to watch Arsenal. I've got a season ticket at Arsenal, so football. Um, I like watching a lot of other sports as well: cricket, rugby, boxing, and also going to live music events, concerts, gigs. What kind of music do you like? Everything and anything. Yeah. Um, Broad taste. I'm trying to think now of the last concerts I've been to. So I've seen Liam Gallagher a lot. I'm a big Oasis fan. Mm-hmm. I like Stone Roses. Um, ACDC I will be going to see. Sounds more of the heavier side um, of things. Heavy stuff, like. but I also <laughs> like country music, pop yeah. music, house music, drum and bass, everything really. Cool. So, but mainly, yeah. Eclectic tastes, yeah. as they say. Um, why should someone out there book or hire JCG Electrical Services? Because um, I feel that we give a good service for a reasonable cost um, and I'm always looking at ways to improve the business for, from the side of the customer experience and also for myself and the staff. So I'm always looking at ways to improve the business, which should reflect on the service that we give, I like to think. Excellent, excellent. Um, what is the best advice you can give someone looking for a professional electrician? I would say check that they're registered with a governing body. So there's a, num- there's a few governing bodies. NIC is the most common. There's an APIT, Alexa, I think. Um, Make sure that the electrician's registered with one of those. So then, that if worst case something did go wrong, you you have someone to call up, and so the governing bodies will provide a warranty on those works. I see. We come across a number of uh, installations where handymen have done electrical work or kitchen fitters, and it's, it's just dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, checking that people are or electricians are registered is a good way of helping to ensure that you get a good job done that meets current regulations. Sure. Um, At the end of this video, I will put a slide up with all of Jake's contact details. But Jake, what is your preferred method for people to contact you, make first contact with you? Um, I would say email is always best. Um, If not, people can phone or message us for our various social medias, Instagram, Facebook. But yeah, it's always best to email. I think our emails are monitored a lot more frequently and the phone rings and no one's in the office on on site quite often so email perfect jake gowan that is you thank you very much thank you